You watch the gold price. You watch the silver price. You've been waiting. You've been patient. And we're ready for the price to take off. And it should have yesterday. We got some key news on the economy, on inflation, that over the next month, two months, six months, will provide huge, huge support for the price of gold and the price of silver. We're going to talk about that in this video. But there's even more. A top financial institution came out with a forecast for silver in particular that really knocks our socks off. And we're going to examine what they say and why they see much, much higher silver prices in particular through the end of the year. Citigroup is forecasting a silver price of $30. $34, as high as $34 within the next 12 months. Within the next three months, they see $28 silver. Now, Forbes magazine has said this about the city group, city bank, city whatever resource research team, that they are well connected. So when Maximilian J. Layton, yes, he heads up that team at Citibank, Maximilian, speaks positively about silver, our ears perk up. We like to hear things from Maximilian, like the situation in the economy right now is near perfect for the precious metals, for the silver price, for the gold price, that it mimics other periods in the past that resulted in astronomical returns for the price of gold and the price of silver. For the last two decades, when the developed economies, the big economies, right, the Western economies are doing poorly, struggling, but the emerging markets are doing well, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Over the last several decades, that has signaled a strong, strong return for the gold price and silver price. Citibank had a lot more to say about silver, and we're going to cover that. But what's more important is that you, yes, you, there's one you right now with me here in the basement. It's a big deal that you're here. I appreciate your time. I hope you feel like you found a little home away from home. We'd love to talk about silver and gold. You are part of the team. You're always welcome here. And on that note, I want to recognize a kind gesture by one of you. A viewer sent me an email with a question about a coin. Her name was Deborah. I forwarded that to a guy named Chris. He's a regular contributor, a moderator on the channel. He went out of his way to get her question answered to the best of his ability. To me, that just demonstrates the quality of people like you that engage in Ron's basement in the comment section. Regular viewers, thank you. Now let's get back to talking about City and Silver. Because they say we could have a rapid ascent in the price of silver. They hearken back to 2020 when silver went from $19 to $29. They also hearken back to 2010, 2011 when silver went from $18 to, sit down for this one, $48 per ounce. Don't you forget, I have another X factor for you outside of all this Citibank talk that will propel the price of gold and silver much, much higher. But first, I need to tell you guys, I may need to find a new basement to do these videos from. Susie, my wife, my wonderful wife, she hates this red shirt. I kind of love the red shirt. I've had this one for 35 years. Nonetheless, Last night, I snuck out on eBay and found two, not one, but two of these red vintage polo shirts that I'm having delivered to the house so that I can wear a red shirt in every video. This may preclude me having to move to a new basement. So if you know of any open available basements, please let me know. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. Max Million and his team at City 
also point out the fact that the dollar is weakening. We know that whole story, right, guys? De-dollarization. We were talking about it long, long before it was picked up in the mainstream media. He also talks about the negative consequences of high interest rates. And finally, he talks about how silver will become a port of refuge, a safe harbor for millions and millions of people. As things start to get crazy, they're going to go to precious metals, gold, but also silver. And that will only help the silver price because we know it's hard to find physical silver right now. And it's just us that are in the market. We're like, what, one in 200 people? Again, when five and 200 or 20 out of 200 people join us, want to get on our little boat with us, guess what? There's not going to be any room. And that could spell astronomical increases for the silver price and the gold price. And there's so much room for growth in demand for silver. Right now in the futures markets, there's about $7 billion worth of contracts on silver. During a bull market run, that can go as high as $26 billion or higher. That's four times higher just in the futures markets. The electronic, paper, unicorn fart dust silver, whatever you want to call it, but that will drive the price significantly higher. And even on the institutional side, there's insufficient supply of silver. The big banks are taking delivery on those futures contracts off the COMEX, and their vault levels are already at historically low levels. And when mom and pop can't go to the local coin shop to buy silver and gold bullion, they may turn to the ETFs, and there's not going to be any available silver for the ETFs to buy either. But there's even more for us to be excited about when it comes to the price of silver. We can understand what City sees and why they forecast such a higher price for silver. But yesterday, we got news. GDP lower than expected. Inflation higher than expected. Guys, that is stagflation. We've been talking about it for the last year. Now the mainstream media is again starting to pick up on it. Read your history books. Stagflation is always, it's mathematically probable to be the most fertile ground for the silver price and gold price. We've got bright days ahead. We're going to hang in there, see how it plays out. No matter what, I'll be here for you. Please come back, watch another video. And until next time, you, yeah, you, there's one you, you be well.